Hey guys, Captain Fatty here, and welcome to day three of the I Am Newbie lockdown training. So we have video, we have sound. Just let me know in the chat box, guys, if you can see me and we are loud and clear. We got a lot more joining today. The word is getting out. Um, I apologize, the, the link in yesterday's email to the webinar sign up um, was not available, but it was all over social media, but there was a problem with the link. So I sent a direct link out today to everyone. Uh, we have the construction starting again. Hopefully that doesn't, if that construction is annoying you guys and you can't hear me clearly, just let me know. It's on and off. So, okay, um, right. Let me see, I want to share this on Facebook first. Um, so just give me two seconds. We have some pretty good content to cover with you guys today. So live on Facebook. While I am waiting, just for interest, guys, let us know who's in lockdown or what is the current situation in your country. I know a lot of you guys might be sick of hearing about it on the news and social media. But on the other hand, I suppose a lot of some of you guys might be actually in lockdown and just want to chat, something to talk about. Um, so that's kind of part of this webinar as well. So let me see. Building. And go live. Excellent. And I just want to quickly share this inside our Facebook group. Don't be shy in the chat box, guys. Um, chat away. Talk to us. Let us know where you're from. Let us know what time zone it is, what time it is, and what is interested to know that. Here it's basically 2 p.m. in the UK, it's 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, it's 9 a.m. So some people are lunchtime, some people are just getting up. Um, I expect there could be some people in Australia as well. Um, share. And do, 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 do. Okay, excellent. We are now more or less ready to get into the content. Um, we have our Q&A box. So let me just move that over to the other screen. We have our chat box and I'm going to share my screen now. Driving from Oklahoma to Ohio, <laughs> two time zone SW. Beautiful thing about America, um, different time zones as you cross. Um, let me do share screen and share. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We're ready to get going. Okay, um, just a quick recap of what we've covered Monday and Tuesday, um, the first two days. The first day was all about setting up your buying your hosting and your domain name, registering that, setting up the email accounts, very, very basic stuff. But I required in order to move to the next step, which was yesterday we covered how to install WordPress, how to install a plugin or a team, which you could use to build your pages. And we covered a few other settings as well. Um, what I wanna do in today's video is I wanna show you guys how to set up a list built-in funnel from scratch. This is super important. It's something that the more experienced marketers would take it, so take for granted. That's the easiest way of putting it. So many people struggle. This whole internet marketing game is all about really building funnels, collecting leads, offering them value, promoting products, creating products, selling products, services, whatever it may be. So it all comes down to the very first step, which will actually be a squeeze pitch. Now, I can, some people will struggle for days, I and most people can set up a squeeze page and a funnel in the space of 20 minutes or half an hour, which will include um, basic funnel, a uh, squeeze page, a thank you page, and a follow-up email. So that's basically what I'm going to be covering in today's training. 
at the end of the webinar, I want to talk about a few tips on segmenting subscribers and moving subscribers around. That'll be a bit advanced. And then I got something else at the very end of the webinar as well for you guys. So let me know in the chat box if that sounds good. And if you've any questions, let me know as well. And we will definitely get everything answered. Excellent. Okay. Right. Let's get straight into it. Um, we have our, we're inside our WordPress blog here. We have the blog yesterday. We were working with a domain called imresults.org. And at the end of yesterday's webinar, I showed you how to use a template and basically create a squeeze page from that. Today, we're going to do start again. We're going to have a new, new page, a new template, everything like that. So first and most important, always update your plugins if you see updates available. Um, so anti spam, and I've actually I've changed that team. But just to practice what I preach, I'll just update that now as well. Again, it just takes two seconds, and now I know everything's up to date. There should be no issues or conflicts. So, right, I'm going to be using Thrive Teams, Thrive Architect to build this actual funnel. It doesn't matter what you're using, click funnels, optimize press, it's more or less the same process. So I'm gonna create a new page. Right, um, you could say I have a talent for coming up with new products and new offers and new giveaways very, very quickly. And I was thinking, okay, what's the ideal offer to, to provide for this example? So I'm doing five training webinars this week. Um, so I'm gonna call it, you know, free lockdown giveaway, um, a newbie marketing training, something like that. That's the whole concept of what I've given away. And the, the offer will be the five webinar training. Now, I just wanna point out one thing. Generally, a giveaway offer should be something that can be consumed in five to 15 minutes. It could be two or three five minute training videos. It could be a short six to 10 page report, something that the customer can easily consume and move on to the next thing. So I'm kind of going a little bit over the top now. I'll probably end up giving away two or three hours of training, but I'm going to brand it and the whole concept kind of works out for this time is, hey guys, you've got a few hours to actually spare. Well, here's three hours of training for you guys um, that you can watch, it's 100% free. So you, I can build credibility by over and delivering in that sense as well. But for most people, guys, keep your, your giveaway report or whatever you're providing for free short so you can move them on to the next part, whatever you're trying to sell them. So with that said, let's continue. Add a new page. So I'm gonna call this, I'll have to think on the fly, so I'll do my best. Okay, free I am newbie lockdown training. Okay, and we'll just click publish. And I'm just going to go open up a new tab. I generally work with two or three tabs because I want to save this URL here. I want to edit this page and I'll have a new page, new tab here for Sometimes, especially if you're using one domain for everything, you would probably have various download pages. So rather than just call it download, I can call it free. I am newbie lockdown training. And then thank you. Oh, I know exactly what it is. I can come along and change the permalink. Here. So basically that is very, very long. So what I'll call, just change this is to download, lockdown. Thank you. Like I should be able to remember it, but again, I would always try and copy paste my URLs. So there is no, there's no errors. Page updated. Okay, so now I've got the pages created. Now it's time to open up the Thrive architect and grab a template. So as we've seen yesterday, there is, there is a lot of templates to actually choose from. Just give me one sec, guys. Ugh. There is a lot of templates to choose from, so I'm just gonna pick something that kind of works with our team. Um, it's a blue team, so I'll just aim for a blue template. And I generally, the best type of squeeze page 
I've found from split testing, and I've done a lot of split testing over the years, would be a two-step. Let me show you the difference, one step and two step. One step would be where you ask for the email, it's directly on the page. For example, this one step, you can see enter the email here. And a two step would be when they click a button and a pop-up appears and then they enter their email. I found them to convert better. So I'm looking for a basic blue two step opt-in page. And again, I, I can edit around any way I wish, but we will go with, this one looks good. Choose this template. So this will be, that's copy 2.0. This will be the squeeze page. So I usually want to pick a similar template for the download page. One thing, if they don't have a similar template, all I would do is clone this actual squeeze page, remove the opt-in box, and then just put my content below, and it matches perfectly. So this is the squeeze page we're gonna begin to edit. I'm gonna show you guys how to edit. And I'm just gonna open up the download page here as well and grab the template for that. I'm doing two things at once, probably not a best habit, but that's me. Thank you, Paige. Okay. Hmm. Download. Download page. Okay. Perfect. Well, we'll go with this was elementary product. No, we'll just go with this blue one here. It does work. Oh, no, this one. This is the actual copy template. So choose template. Right, well, that's loading. Um, we can just work on this. So your squeeze page, the best and highest converting squeeze page is always going to be headline, possibly a subheadline, and an opt-in box. You should be creating as much curiosity as possible in order to get the highest opt-in rate, especially when you're just starting off. If you want to do Facebook ads or Google ads, they, they like you to be more clear. For example, put in bullet points about everything you're covering and maybe some social media testimonials or something like that. They want a more complete page. But for general traffic from your own list or from the general IMC, in, um, shorter is better. Images are always, to me, you should never use them on a squeeze page. And we're not going to be using bullet points for this example. We're going to keep it plain and simple. So I'm going to remove that. I'm going to remove that. Right, so um, the most important, this is advanced training guys when it comes to copy and getting higher conversions, which can have a massive impact on your business. The most important word on a squeeze page or when you're trying to get someone's email address will always be free. It's just gonna grab their attention. It's the most effective word in marketing. So we would usually be 100% free training. Right, let's go with that. And let's go with five part training series. Those newbies, how to create an online business in 30 days. Okay, um, at that, it's looking pretty okay. I don't actually like this text here, it's not needed. Okay, in that sense, I'm actually, other than that issue there with that box. I'm happy enough with that page. So content and layout with zero. Zero, uh, 25. Okay, All right, perfect example. Um, you got copyright, Captain Fatty, and then you have your disclaimer and contact, which we can create those pages. But in a nutshell, that's one way to create a squeeze page, very, very simple. That's all we would ever be doing. And um, what I'm doing here is 
I'm trying to push up the content, the call to action button as much as possible. It should be the first thing to see on the page. Um, we see squeeze pages, I'll just give an example here. You've got text and then you've got more text and then you've got more text and you've got the, the call to action all the way down here. It's not the way to go. Even on sales pages, you'll always see the buy button up top. So that's exactly just what I'm really playing around with. So leave it like that. And I'm gonna push that up to two lines and see how it looks. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. 100% free training. Right, here's a little tip as well. Always optimize your pages for mobile. Um, again, depending on which page builder you use, they've got different settings that you can adjust, etc. cetera. Uh, with Triumph, all I do is click on mobile here, and you can see, look, that looks absolutely terrible. If someone landed on this on a mobile phone, they're gonna leave, considering 50% of traffic or more could be mobile, I'm gonna lose money. So, very, very simple. Let's go with just modify it. 100% free training. That's pretty good. I might actually make this a little bit bigger. Okay, yep, okay, perfect. So now it, on a mobile, it looks good. On a tablet, it looks good. And on the desktop, it looks good. Important. Right, I'm just gonna save that. The next thing I need to do, regardless of what page builder you use, you need to connect an opt inbox to this. So, um, I use so many page builders. Uh, you need to give me a second until I remember how to do this. Do, 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 do. Okay, animation and action. So, in this case, with Triumph, you have to create a light box. So, when someone clicks on this link, a light box will appear. So, um, CSS animation pop-ups. So I'll click on that, open a light box, and I, I have to go create a light box first. So I will just click apply if I can. No, I need to select a light box. So in this case, what I want a light box is more or less an opt-in form for this example. So we go to our WordPress dashboard. We will see five light boxes, and we will click on add new. Leave that page, add new. Another window opened. So we're gonna call this pop-up box for I am newbie, lockdown. Oh, again, I know exactly what it is. Click on publish and click on launch Tribe Architect in order to edit this light box. So the light box should basically back up the message that was already on your page. So rather than the click on the light box and you've just got, let me give you an example, opt-in, email, lead generation, okay. Rather than to just say name and email, you should be backing up your message. So there's two kind of things I would use. Headline would say, Almost there. Enter your best email to access the free training. And then we can adjust that, make it bigger or smaller. For some reason, I just do not like that font. Okay, right, and then we have, you have just, you can use name and email and Right, we might as well talk about this. It is important. Um, never ever ask for a phone number unless you require the phone number. And the only reason you would require the phone number if you're an offline business, you're doing something that you need to call them directly. But even at that, it's probably best to ask for the phone number at a later stage. So 19, we never ask for a phone number anymore. 99.9% um, .9 of marketers do not ask for a phone number. So there's no reason for you to. Do you ask for first name or not? 
the more information you ask for, the less the response will be. I've tested this a million and one times. So for example, if the average squeeze page or the, the squeeze page you create converts at 40% just asking for email, the minute you come along and ask for name, it's gonna reduce that conversion by around 10%. It's gonna reduce the 30%. So unless you really need it, I don't recommend to ask for name. We kind of stopped asking for name in a lot of cases. And then when people purchase our product, then we get the name and whatever other details required. So in this case, I'm gonna remove um, name and right. So the update box is created. Now we need to connect this to our autoresponder. So this is another part where you need to know about and it is important. Regardless of what page builder you use, you will find, a, you should find a place where you see autoresponder settings or API connections. In this case, it's managed connections. Um, I've already added Aweber because I need to enter my password, but it's basically, you just click on add a new connection. You can choose any autoresponder, ActiveCampaign, Aweber, GetResponse, et cetera, or you can choose webinar integrations, etc. So once that is connected, what you need to do is add the connection here to this form. So add a connection, choose Aweber, and then choose the list that I'm going to use for this particular one. Um, I haven't actually created a list yet, so I'm just going to leave it at, leave it at that for now. Uh, you can add tags if you want, which is not a bad idea. I am newbie free five training videos. And apply. Okay, so now the, the form is connected to, to our autoresponder. It's not the right list, but we've got all our pages opened. We can just go back and edit them. Right, so the squeeze page, I need to connect this to the light box that I just created now. Lightbox, my free offer. No, because I've just created it. Um, you just have to refresh the page. So just press F5. Yeah, Tribe can be a little bit slow at times. Okay, we have this. What I want to do is animation pop up when someone clicks it open the light box and save excellent right there is one other thing we need to keep in mind and this is why i created the download page first when someone opts in to that light box, where do we want to send them? We want to send them to the actual download page. So we will take, we'll just click on preview, we'll take the URL of the download page and we'll go back to our light box and then you will have settings here. Redirect to a custom URL and this is the URL here. Click on save. Now the light box is connected. Right, well, I've covered a few things already, guys. Um, there's a, at least another half an hour to go on this training. Um, it's taken a little bit longer than I expected, but um, it's more or less because I'm explaining it along the way. So I just want to take a look break <laughs> and answer any questions that you might have. Let me see questions and chat box. Excellent, all is good there. Facebook, how's everyone on Facebook? Give me a shout out if you're watching this. Focus their attention on the action you want them to take. Perfect, Marius, Marcus. Um, hello everybody, cheers. Anyone else on guys? Say hello, do not be shy. Okay, um, what are we gonna watch? Do, 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 do. What are we gonna do next? We are going to, I'm going to complete the download page, the basic outline, and then I'm going to move into the autoresponder, create the list, create a follow-up email, then I can change the setting here, and all going good, I should be able to test it, and everything works flawlessly. So, um, let's go to the download page. Right, the download page, again, I don't want to see a report. 
you've so you've successfully signed up, I would say thank you for signing up. Access training below. Now I'll have two options here. I could embed all the videos on this page, or I could link to my YouTube account so they can watch them on YouTube. What I'm thinking here, and it does work to a certain degree, is I'm going to send people over to YouTube directly for each video, considering they're going to be whatever, within 30 minutes and over an hour long. They you might get more subscribers on YouTube from it, more actions, more views, more comments, and actually get more exposure to the videos that way as well. So it's going to be very, very simple. Um, we have a download button here in place. I'm not a fan of those rounded corners. Okay, for example, we'll go with that. And I want to make it 100%. Okay. So it will be access video one. Um, I think that was cPanel and the main setup. And then what I'll do, I'm not going to link this now because I have to upload all the videos later. I'll just have the YouTube video link here, making sure that every link you put on a download page opens up in a new window. Because if it doesn't, they'll just click on one link, they'll lose all the rest of the training, and usually you would have some upsells as well. So, um, Video two, okay, the pattern is, is wrong because of the template. So we just come along and we adjust it. Layout and settings, 20, 20, I think that's fine. Perfect. So video one, video two, video three, video four. I'm not gonna type in the, the descriptions, guys, I value your time. I just wanna get my point across about the training. Okay, I could um, link to my social media. It's a new subscriber, it should be. Um, so it's something to take into account as well. And then at times you could have, or you should have a special offer. So for example, access over 18, complete marketing courses for $1. And I'll show you guys that at the end of this webinar as well. So just put this down. We can come along and we probably want this because it's, you want things to stand out. For example, this would be the money offer here. We want that money offer to stand out. So change the color of the actual button would be one way to do it. Um, obviously use the button's colors that actually stand out the most, which will be in general red, green, and purple. Uh, click here for details. Put limited time special offer. So, right, we have, let me just click save and click on preview. More or less created the download page now. The only thing that needs to be done is videos need to be uploaded to YouTube. It looks professional. I could add more value here. And it is a good idea, guys. I've actually noticed this can double your conversions, double your response rate. This is good, but what would make this perfect would be a video here and saying, hey, it's Kevin Fadi here. I want to thank you for signing up to all these free training videos. Um, there's a lot of value involved. And I'm going to be sending you some bonus stuff in your email inbox over the next few days, weeks, and months. So just try and build a relationship with the people straight away. And then say, click the links below to access the video. So you're building a relationship, you're offering value, and in return, your marketing results will be better. Does that make sense, guys? Give me a yes or no inside the chat box, please. Right, so... Um, I'm happy with that download page. Obviously, I just have a quick look on mobile, make sure everything looks good. It looks acceptable. You know, we can just change things around and make the button smaller, but it is acceptable. Right, so um, download page is complete. Squeeze page is complete. I just need to edit the, the pop-up form. So I'm over to my Aweber autoresponder now. 
Right, this again at Aweber get response active campaign. There's a bunch of autoresponders, most do, do the, the same job. My favorite autoresponder, I think, for newbies is Aweber, and for more advanced targeting features and automation, it's active campaign. Right, so for the newbies just starting off, how do we get going? We would go to list settings. Now, I want to create a new list. I'm missing something. One sec. I'm looking for create a new list. I think it's up top. Okay, manage lists and create a new list. Um, we're going to call this I am newbie free training governors. Website is fine. Next step, send our email will be Kevin at support at iamchecklist.org. This is describe your list, so the same again. I am newbie free training, I am newbie free training. Fine. Again, approve this confirmation message. We're gonna talk about this in a second because it is super, super important. Right, so the list is now created. The first thing you need to do is go into list settings. Go to confirmation message and turn this to off. Now, I don't care what people have read in the past about engagement and anything like that. More or less a confirmation message is when someone signs up to your list, they're going to get another email from Aweber saying, do you give this person permission to send your emails? Yes, you'll probably get a higher, more responsive list, but here's exactly what happens. If that happens, let's say a thousand people end up opting in. Out of that, from our experience, 50, even 60% of people will not click on that link that says gives you permission. So you end up losing half of your subscribers. And some people say, ah, they weren't worth it. If they weren't gonna open that email, I'm not interested. The problem is a lot of those emails go to spam folder a lot of the time. Some people are confused. So list hygiene is important, but the way I do it and the way I teach it, we'll cover it at the end of this webinar as well, um, is get people onto your list and then when they open up an email or end up clicking a link, you tag them. So every few months or every month or two, you can go in and see, okay, well, we got two, three thousand new subscribers and 1500 have actually been opened our emails and are interested. These are our subscribers and then we've got 500 people here who never opened the first email or never opened any email in the past month, then we can delete them. So important, get confirmation message turned off. Right, um, next thing with Aweber, this is very important. Um, because we're using an API connection, it doesn't matter if you're a new account or even an account like me for the last 12 years, they require you to contact support to turn off that API, the double opt-in for API. Um, a bit annoying, what I usually do is create three or four lists for different projects um, that I know are coming up and then I contact them at once. But um, don't make a big deal about it, guys. Don't put it off. Um, it's, I don't even ring support or send them an email. It's just time wasting. The only thing you need to do is we have 24 seven chat support here. So just click on that, enter your name, enter your email. They're gonna ask you the list name, which we have it here, list settings, this list name or the unique list ID. And they're gonna ask you the last four digits of your credit card number, which is the reason I'm not doing it now. And within two seconds, they'll say, they might ask, can I see your squeeze page please, sir? And I would just send them the actual squeeze page. From there, you're, you're good to go. I will cover one thing that might happen with a brand new Aweber account. They might say to you, we would like to see your getting subscriptions first and we'll monitor your account for a week or two and then we'll turn it off. That's annoying. The workaround is avoid the API connections, just use sign up forms. Um, I'm not gonna cover that, but if, you're in, if you have that issue and Aweber won't allow you to do single opt-in via API, at the beginning, just use sign up forms. Okay, 
Right, so we have our list created. I have to turn off the confirmation message, so I'll do that after the webinar. So when we're testing this, chances are we'll get that message. Um, okay, so list is created. Let's go to, in this case, we'll just put in follow-up series. And we'll create a new message with a drag and drop editor or the plain text, whichever. I actually am having better results with plain text emails for some reason. With whichever one it opens, we'll just go with. Put a bum bum. And the car of Spain, so home using the internet. So the internet connection is slightly slower these days. It was even on the news. That's one of the things keeping me sane. I was actually having a routine being able to work. Um, that's definitely not the editor I want to use. Okay, excellent. Right, um, we've not, I'll point this out, we've not asked for first name, um, so we don't have to include it in this email. But if, for example, the first name is not in the database, it will just leave that as blank. So I have the habit of leaving first name here um, a lot of the time. Uh, because they might be on my list already and we might have collected them from a customer database or whatever. So, um, hi, first name. Thanks for being, okay. So we're going to edit this. The idea of, I mean, it's not going to be a massive course on how to write a perfect follow-up email series, guys. But in a nutshell, the idea of a first follow-up email is to inform the subscriber about who you are, how you can help them, what you're going to provide them for free and what they've just signed up for. So let's do this quickly. Uh, hey, first name, Kevin Fatty here. And I would like to thank you for signing up. Serious access the Access all the videos from this page. So I'll link to the download page. Uh, for example, over the past 10 years, we've talked So basically, um, quick introduction, Kevin Fatty here, and thank you for signing up. Um, you can access the training videos from this page. So a link to the actual download page, which is here. Okay, um, over the past 10 years, we've helped tens of thousands of marketers start and scale their online business and hope to be able to help you. Over the next few days, I'll be sending you some tips and bonuses. Please whitelist our email address. Address to ensure you get the training. In general, guys, I think people don't want massive, massive long emails. And I also found that the more content and the more words you put inside an email, the higher chance it's going to land in the spam folder. Um, so we're just going to sign off. And this one, it's not a perfect email, but it's, it's pretty good and acceptable. So just make sure the font, everything just looks good. It's not as bad as getting an email with... Um, with bad formatting, bad grammar, anything like that. So Kevin Fadi here, I'd like to thank you for signing up for your free training. So yes, you can access all the videos from this page. Over the past 10 years, we've helped tens of thousands of marketers start and scale their business and hope to be able to help you. Over the next few days, I'll send you some tips and bonuses. So they're, they're looking forward to my next emails and more than likely we'll open it. Um, so I'll just put that onto a different line. Please whitelist or email. I just here you get the training to your success, Kevin Foddy. So that's perfect. And the subject line is usually thank you for 
Training of Park by AMDB Training. Okay, excellent. So I'm just going to click save, save and exit. Save my changes. So it, uh, this is, it's still in drafts, folks. Just keep that in mind. So what I need to do is go to send options and add to follow up emails. This will automatically add it as the first email. If you want to add more emails, it'll give you an option to say how many days would you like to wait until they get the next email? Usually it is, usually it's one day, depending. It could be two or three days of emails, then a one day break. It's entirely up to you. Right, so we've added a follow up email. Um, so what I would like to do now is go back to our pop-up form. The chances are I'll have to refresh this page. And edit the opt-in box, Aweber, edit, and the list is free newbie, no. If it doesn't appear, just click on refresh and it's gonna update my Aweber lists. So once this is done, the next step will be to test the opt-in page. Um, test, test, and test over and over again, guys. We've set up hundreds, if not thousands, of opt-in pages like this. And you know, half the time we're gonna find a silly little error, which could have a lot, could cost a lot of money. It could be redirected to the wrong page, you could have selected the wrong list, um, it could be something wrong on the page. So test it, study every single page. And you could say, in that sense, you have created your first marketing funnel um, or a new marketing funnel, whatever it may be, in the space of like, an hour, whatever, if it takes you two or three hours, it's something that is required. If you come along and you outsource that to someone, and I think that's a big, big mistake, guys. The reason is you need to understand how, you need, how to do this and be able to put in an offer together very, very quickly. Okay, cool. Click save, apply save work right let's visit the squeeze page and let's hope everything works so squeeze page oh i need to okay well straight away we can see there's an error yes so there's an error there straight away let's see what i did wrong Pop up box, click open drive leads, apply. Ah, sorry, that was the reason we had two events. Save preview. Okay, excellent. I need to change this headline here. That's important, but we can do that afterwards. Right, enter my email address. I'm going to enter whatever, info at kevinfaddy.net. Usually with Aweber, when you enter info at, it's always gonna send a confirmation email because it's in one of those blacklisted emails that we need to watch. But anyway, we're gonna get it anyway because I still need to contact Aweber to turn off the double opt-in. But we'll just click yes on the confirmation email and we'll watch out for the follow-up email. So, sorry, I was... I was directed here after sign up. I need to put all those links in place. That is important. But in that sense, that is working. Let's go to our email inbox. Let's give that a second to actually come in and see if we got any questions anywhere. Um, no, everyone's shy.
okay, good question from David. Do you let them download right away already who sent them an email link with the download? Are you to verify? Do you have a real email? I'll half and half. I think a lot of the time is given the content straight away. Um, in some cases, it's always a good idea to get the person in a habit of going to their email inbox because that's where you're going to be communicating with them in the future. But on the other case, when people sign up to an actual, when people sign up to an opt-in page, let me get this right. Yes, when you're building your list and you're trying to generate leads, you should always be trying to make a sale as well to cover the cost of traffic or actually just to make revenue from your marketing. So when if you say to people, thanks for signing up, please check your email inbox, you will notice that maybe 60%, maximum 65% will actually go to their email inbox and check that straight away. So what's happening there, in my opinion, you're losing 30% of possible revenue because you're not producing something straight away. So what some people would do is they would say, thanks for signing up. Here's, I've sent the free gift to your email inbox. Please check out this special offer below. And then they're straight away, you can present your pet offer. So that's one way to do it. The other way to do it would be like what I've done. I've said, here's the access to the five videos because I want to offer value first. I want to can try and build a relationship with them first. And then at the end of the page, I still have the opportunity to make the sale. I hope that makes sense. Uh, good question. Right, let me see if that email came in. Um, okay, that's weird, there's no reason. It, it, sometimes it takes a little bit of time to come in, but it should not be taking this long. Let me just... Sorry guys, one sec. Oh, this is important. Um, obviously, if there's an issue, I want to show you where I went wrong. There might be, it could be just a delay with, with emails. Uh, Mary, the link to all replays will be available. Basically, what I will be doing, here's the confirmation message. What I will be doing is they'll be inside the IM VIP training members area with IM Newbie, which everyone this week can access for free. You should have access to IM Newbie. They will be in the members area. I will be posting the five links on YouTube in the next, basically after Friday. And I will be sharing the replays inside my group and on my Facebook profile. I kind of looked at it Monday, everyone was checking out the, the Facebook profile link. And people got views from there yesterday because it was St. Patrick's Day. I looked at my profile today and I was sharing so much crap, if you want to call it, um, that the videos kind of got hidden. So basically that was my fault, but I'll make, make up for that today. So, okay, we have to follow up email. Thank you for signing up. The message is correct. Um, just click the link, make sure it works. And that is really it to that degree, guys. We've got a squeeze page, we've got a thank you page, and we've got a follow-up email all set up. So, right, let's, what else did I want to cover? Um, I want to cover tagmenting and segmenting because it's so, so important, guys. Um, we're getting really, really good results with a lot of our email campaigns. Um, I could have created a complete course on this, but I'm, I've shared bits and pieces of it over the past, you could say 15 months, I have been implementing this system, consistently doing it, split testing, everything like that. Um, yeah, I'll show you, you'll see some really bad results and you're gonna see some really good results because the bad results would obviously be people that I am 
inactive subscribers, which Aweber says, these people have never opened an email from me in the past three months, and I'm still being able to get some open rates from them. And then with our active lists, we're able to get 20%. Um, these are two more bigger lists, 18%, 20%, et cetera. Um, on top of that, we have, we're always cleaning up our autoresponder with people that haven't opened an email or anything like that. So every single email I send, I set a tag saying, if the person opens this email, they're going to be set to this tag. And we're able to tag who opened particular offers and everything like that. So we did the same in 2019, and then we did the same in the second half of 2019. And right now we've got, we started this on the 1st of January. It would be tag is O to O. So anyone who has actually opened an email in the first, in the last three months, and we can see the total number of subscribers here. So this is our hot list of active subscribers that we segment, we can split this, break this down more, we can split test this, that you only send into, you know, two or 3,000 per email, whatever, but it works. From there, every single day, or even twice per day, because if they're, they're non-active, they're non-opening, we're just looking for different ways to engage with them, we would put tag is not O to O. So people who have not opened an email in 2020, and you can see here, there's 5,700. My goal and what is actually happening is this number is getting smaller all the time because I'll say if this is a segment and I'll send an email to this list, we'll probably get, you know, horrible, horrible results, guys. 1% open rate, 2% open rate, 3% maximum. But what happens the next day is there's maybe 50 or 100 people out of this list, they moved into my active list, and eventually they'll come along and just remove all these subscribers. Might be a little bit advanced for newbies, but I just said I would share that in this webinar as well. Right, um, questions folks before I get into something else. Do, do I don't see anything, other questions, so okay. Right, I'm happen to be doing let me close these windows. I happen to be doing six live training webinars this week, which is pretty cool. Um, it keeps me busy, get to offer some value. The webinar tomorrow is going to be, there's going to be a I Am Newbie webinar at the exact same time at 9, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And there's going to be another webinar, which is for our I Am VIP training members at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> I'm gonna be working hard tomorrow. Um, I don't mind being honest, uh, the, the first webinar will probably be 40 minutes long, take a few minutes break, and then we we'll dig into the IM VIP training webinar. Right, on these webinars, we do them every single month, and the content is, as you can say, this is basic training that I'm teaching you guys. The content on these webinars are a little bit, like it's are a lot more advanced. And generally, I let the instruction, I let the, our audience and our members decide. So I just want to bring up this link and I'm going to bring it to Make Market as an announcement as well. Okay. Boom. Right. There it is three options I put together for the webinars. And so far, the people that are commenting, it's actually five people are commenting on A and four on B. So in the next, basically tonight, guys, I need to make a decision what I'm going to cover. So I need to knuckle down, start preparing content for this and deliver an awesome webinar training tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So option A is how anyone can outsource 90% of their business, any business online or offline. I have massive amount of experience. I'm 12 years outsourcing in the online market space. I've done nothing but manage businesses um, all my life. I used to help the father run businesses since I was eight years old. Um, we did a lot of outsourcing. We knew how to hire people and just live a better life. That's the easiest way of putting that. 
Um, option B, the email marketing techniques I've used for the past 15 months to increase my revenue by at least 40%. I've covered some of this before. I gave you guys a little teaser about it now, but there's so much more to dig in that I've learned over the past three months. I'm willing to teach that yeah, one or the other. I'll probably, there seems to be interest in both, so I'll keep the other one for next month. And no one's interested in wealth happiness and retirement outside the IMC. And, Shocking, but whatever. Okay, so that's what's happening tomorrow, guys. This is only available to IM VIP training gold members or IM checklist members. So I just want to do a quick overview. Anyone that's watching this webinar or live on this webinar or even on my list or on Facebook has free access to IM Newbie until Friday. You can sign up, you get access to this training program, which includes, just quickly show you, website, hosting, WordPress, list building. It's 36 different marketing lessons um, to help people start their online business. Inside our training portal, it's been updated numerous times over the past six years, removing old content, adding all my new latest products, etc. And now there's 18 training courses, commission five, 20K extra, lazy affiliate method, 15 monetization methods, Kevin's 2020 predictions, I am productivity hacks, I am UB, I am affiliate funnel 1.0 and 2.0, I am product launching 1.0 and 2.0, I am traffic Facebook masters, I am video masters, affiliate marketing blueprint, I am coaching guide, I am emails over, which is actually around 60 webinar replays inside there as well, our PLR training, solo ad escape, consistent sales system, 10x traffic, and these are not part of, these are coaching upgrades, so just, I don't want to say they're included, um, they're just in here as well, but there's, there's actually 19 courses there that are included in our IM VIP training membership. There is, here you can see everything we've done since January, this year, we've done massive updates and I still have to add all the updates we've done in March, which is three updates so far. Here you can see all the updates since 2019, all the updates since 2018. So it's just an outstanding training platform for everyone. A lot of you guys watching this will already be members, guys. Take, make use of it. Um, I made a post in our Facebook group, <laughs> I think about two weeks ago, I said, you know, business right now is really, really good. Um, the only thing I'm mostly doing in my business is sending an email and doing live trade webinars like this, which I really, really enjoy. Um, everything else in the background is, it's just been automated, outsourced processes in place, and it just really, really works. So um, my point was that everything I'm doing is everything I've covered in my latest training courses, such as... Um, do, 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 commission 5, 20k extra, lazy affiliate method, I am productivity hacks. There would be my four re most recent training courses. So, right, I'm going to make a quick, just let you know about this. It's not, I'm not here to sell anything, but it's an opportunity for any of you guys that want to access all my live training webinars um, every month, all these 18 courses. There's two options here to suit any budget. So the link is imviptraining.com, imviptraining.com. I will drop it into, I'm not even gonna bother, drop it into the chat box, guys. If you really want to get access, type it in, imviptraining.com. And on this page, you can get access for $1. And I just wanna explain how this works. It's $1 for five days, and then it's $29.95 per month. This should be a $47 a month membership site. I'm practically giving it away for $29.95 per month. There is option B to even save you more money. I am viptraining.com forward slash update 2020. This is basically a month ago, it's kind of like a private link, which is not available um, to promote or anything like that. It was an update for our customers, letting them know about all the recent training courses and a special offer at the end where you can get access for a one-time payment, which is lifetime access. I went, sorry, I want to rephrase that. It's access to our the training platform for as long as it remains up, which I expect it'll be five, six, 10 more years. 
and it's access to live training webinars for 2019 and 2020. So the sooner you basically join, the sooner, the more training you get. Right now we're at March, so you would get nine plus 12, you would get 21 live training webinars if you join this month. If you join in six months time, you'd only get 15 live training webinars. So it is a complete steal, no recurrent fees and one-time payment of 197. So it's guys, the offers there to suit any budget, get into the door, access all our training for a dollar, get as much out of it as you can, stay on as long as you want, cancel any time, or just straight into the deep end and have all the access and all the future access for a one-time payment. So that's the offer, guys. Um, imviptraining.com or imviptraining.com update 2020. So um, that's a wrap. I'm going to answer any questions you guys might have. If there's anything happening, let's see what's happening in the chat box. Um, outsourcing. Outsourcing. D David, excellent. Um, David, please, if you want to uh, vote on what training we're happening to having tomorrow, folks, definitely find that announcement inside our Facebook group. It should be at the very top and vote on it. I will remind that. I think everyone's leaning towards outsourcing. So I've probably decided in my head now that we are going to do outsourcing training and it should be really, really, really good. Um, Okay, um, right guys, that's pretty much it. That's gonna be a wrap. I wanna thank everyone for attending. I hope you enjoyed this training and I will catch you on tomorrow's webinar. Cheers.